Hi, I'm Shayna. And I'm Faith. One of our favorite shows that both Faith and I love is Bones. We watched it both together by ourselves and have just fallen in love with the cast. So when we had to pick a character from a main TV show or well-known movie, we thought, who would be better than to pick Lance Sweets? To introduce the cast, we'll start on the left with Angela and Hodgins moving to the right. Brennan, Booth, Cam, and Sweets finally is on my right of this photo. Sweets is a fun-loving character who is the show's therapist and helps build relationships with the FBI and the other partners that he works with. We'll get into more of his personality later as we look into his big five personality traits. For the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on a specific episode from season four, which is called The Double Death of the Dearly Departed. In this episode, Sweets and his colleagues go to a funeral of one of their co-workers. While paying their respects, they discover that he has been murdered, and they end up stealing the body from the funeral home to try and determine who murdered him and how he was murdered. In the beginning, Sweets was unaware of what was going on, but after a hilarious encounter with two of his colleagues, Sweet is brought into the front. Throughout Sweets is caught off guard at what his colleagues are doing, but as he tries to support them and be helpful in whatever way he can. One of the most endearing things about Sweets is all of his different quirks and characteristics, so we wanted to take a closer look at what his personality might look like based on the Big Five, his job, and what that looks like while interacting with his colleagues. To start off, we are going to take a look at the big five personality traits and how Sweets fits into those. The first one is extroversion, which is generally associated with warmth, assertiveness, social ability, enthusiasm, and excitement seeking. Next is neuroticism. Some characteristics are anxiety, withdrawal, depression, and self-consciousness. Agreeableness is the next big five trait. Tendencies associated with agreeableness are trust, compassion, straightforwardness, and respectfulness. After that is conscientiousness, which could be described as competence, organizational skills, industriousness, and self-discipline. Lastly is openness to experience. In this trait, there are things such as fantasy, intellectual curiosity, ideas, aesthetic, and imagination. Through observing him on the show and seeing him interact both at work and in his personal life, we could make some assumptions based on the characteristics that we mentioned before that Sweets would score high on openness, conscientiousness, and agreeableness. For example, Sweets shows a lot of openness because of his intellectual curiosity shown through his profession as a shrink. While this takes a lot of school, he is still studying two of the people on the show, analyzing their interactions with one another. He shows a lot of openness because of his strong feelings that he shares with his colleagues and his romantic partners more than the others on the show. We also hypothesize that Sweets would score high on conscientiousness because he is an organized individual. This is shown through scenes that are shot in his office, you can see this through his responsibility to the team and, to, and dedication to finding out the truth. When all goes haywire, he sticks with his team and he knows responsibilities and he always helps them find out the truth. Agreeableness is also something that Sweet scores high on because of his quick to trust his companions and is also to comply with what asked him to go pick up one of their other colleagues and the body he goes without many questions, knowing that is what the team needs. According to our observations, Sweets would likely score low on neuroticism because it is rare to see Sweets experience or display emotions like anxiety or hostility, withdrawal, or any other negative emotions. In the episode, he is all engaged with his team and those around him. Although he is shaken up because of the situation, he tries to keep calm and keeps the team in mind. Sweets would also score low on extroversion. Sweets is not the most assertive person on the team. He is also more likely to take direction, like we have talked about above. 
His activities also include more solo activities when he is away from work, such as playing video games and reading. Next, we're going to look at how Sweet's big five personality traits relates to how satisfied he is with his career. We are going to start with looking at the research done by J.H. Semenin and others that talked about the financial security and satisfaction with the big five theory. With Sweet scoring high, on openness but low on extroversion. He is more likely to have some dissatisfaction with his job in the financial realm. This is shown through the show and this episode because although he does love his job, he has moments where he wishes he had different positions on the team or a different job entirely. Despite the gap between Sweet's scores on openness and extroversion, Sweet still has what's considered a resilient personality based on his big five traits. Resilient personalities are generally connected to a higher success at their jobs. As research that has been done by A. Das has shown that personality is stable, yet there are many moving parts too. When looking at Sweets and his career, it is important to take a look at how his personality has set him up for success as a counselor. Such as having a resilient personality makes him a strong candidate for certain jobs, such as a counselor. So it is helpful to be resilient when working with hard clients, such as Brennan and Booth, when he works with them on the show. Next, we're going to transition to his relationships with his coworkers and his friends within the show. Wow, they're friends like me and you. Aww. Yep, according, uh, yeah, according to some research done by MT, on the Big Five as determinants of pro-social behavior, posted in the Indian Positive Psychology Journal, agreeableness and extroversion have a strong relationship with pro-social behavior, which we can define as acting to benefit others rather than themselves. As we have explained, sweets would likely score high on agreeableness, which tends to include trust, compassion, and altruism, all which are components of pro-social behavior. An example of this would be when Sweets cares for his friends by going to pick up a dead body for them. He also comforted the undertaker, who ended up being the murderer, telling him that it was okay because he could tell that he was in clear distress. Wow, that is so cool. I'm glad that Sweets is such an awesome guy that cares so much about his friends. Me too. In another study done by D. Antoniani did on the Big Five personality factors and conflict resolution, identified five conflict management styles, including integrating, obliging, dominating, avoiding, and compromising. Because of Sweet's background in psychology and being a counselor, he is predisposed to being compromising personality and conflict type. Meanwhile, dominating and avoiding would be two types of conflict management styles that Swedes is unlikely to engage in. This is because the two styles are linked to extroversion and neuroticism. This is shown in Swedes through pressing his colleagues for information. He accepts what little information they give him, although he would rather have more. He compromises with the little information that he got and trusts his friends to do what they wanted and to do what was best. Sweets is a pretty good conflict management person. He trusts his friends and colleagues so well, which makes for a pretty harmonious relationship in the workplace. Through observing Sweets in this episode and his big five personality traits, we can predict his satisfaction with work, his pro-social behaviors, and how he manages conflict. Looking holistically at who Sweets is, we could see where struggle with financial situations would arise, but also see how he gets a lot of satisfaction with his job, being able to help people and find the truth. Throughout the role in the show, we see these aspects shine through. With Sweet's peers, he will most likely be viewed positively through his pro-social behavior and agreeableness. In the show, you see this because he becomes an integral part of the team and everybody likes to have him around. This is especially shown when he dies in the ninth season and everybody deeply misses him. Aww. It was so nice to learn so much about Sweets and really take a deeper look at what his character is and what personality traits he has. Going through this and looking at his big five traits makes me appreciate him as a character more than ever. Me too. I already loved Sweets, but learning how his, his personality is relationship-oriented and has such a caring heart 
has become even more evident looking at his personality through the lens of the big five personality trait. 